you uh, go to you find yourself at the University of Virginia. You have an outstanding career, and now you get drafted the first pick in the '83 draft. What are your thoughts about going to Houston? Well, you know, we were following it from uh, high school, so you know, with uh, the lovely Red Ark right between my uh, high school senior and freshman at UVA, Red Ark back and the crew, when you can. Uh, Cedric Maxwell always tell me the story like, oh, Red wanted me and Larry to come down and and, and, and bring this million dollars in his briefcase and you come to recruit me to come out of school. And uh, Mac, Mac, you know, Max says, Max says, Shit, well, give me the million dollars first and I don't need to come down and recruit anybody else. I can play. So so he tell the story on his podcast. It was great. But uh, Larry didn't come. But, but So I knew at that point in time, you know, I, I was pretty good, but I needed to develop because I was only 195 pounds soaking wet. But, um, you know, and then every year I had a chance to come out of school uh, from my freshman, high school freshman, sophomore, junior, sophomore year, sophomore and junior year of college. And I always tell a story and you, you, you can remember some of this. So one year with Isaiah Thomas going to Detroit and, and you know, with, there wasn't any cell phone that points out, but me and Zeke knew each other from, you know, 1979 class and, you know, Worthy was 1970 class, where the Dominique was 1979 class. So we did all these barnstorming tournaments, et cetera. So we had Antoine Carr, so the name goes on. So we exchanged numbers. So out there would call and say, are you going or not? Because that's making sure I'm going. Because I want to go to number one. I said, okay, I don't know yet. And then, <laughs> so I, I stay, he goes to Detroit. The next year, Worthy, you know, we're doing the same thing. You're going, you come in, I stay, he goes to LA. Then I was there, I come out my senior year because, you know, I had a flip, coin flip. Now, you know, I would, I, I told Magic one time, I said, look, you know, if I'd known for sure what I know now about the NBA, I'd have damn sure came out and played with you, Kareem. And Worthy <laughs> might not have been there, but I'd have played with y'all for sure because that, that's what I was my love because Buss and Magic, like, let's, let's trade for you. I said, y'all y'all trade, I'm in. But it was fun. We knew we were going to be number one, but I had to work my tail off every year more to realize that I can graduate and, two, get my body ready for the, you know, you know, the league back in that day was, you know, you, you can't bring none down through the middle. You oh, get yeah. hammered and killed. And, yeah, 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 you can do, can do all that. You know, 7'4", 200 pounds wasn't going to cut it. Thank you.